Now to a big push to cut down on distracted driving. It's an issue News 6 has been covering for years through our Driving Change Initiative, where our reporting led to a new Florida law. Now traffic leaders are launching a new campaign to save more lives. News 6's Jerry Askin has the details. You can see workers here watching the roads and getting results here inside the Regional Transportation Management Center. State leaders saying they're working to prevent distracted driving and they're especially targeting young men. One mistake and you could be dead. It's a push to prevent distracted driving. Troopers say across the state last year there were more than 53,000 crashes involving distracted drivers. And they say nearly 270 of them were deadly. That's why it's everyone's responsibility when they get behind the wheel to keep their eyes and their mind on driving and to make sure that they're aware of their surroundings. We got to look inside FHP and FDOT's Regional Communication Center as workers are constantly here monitoring the roads. Starting tomorrow, state transportation leaders will launch their Target Zero campaign aimed at stopping distracted driving. The multimedia ads run through June with one important goal keeping driver's eyes on the road. Put down your phone, only focus on driving. If you need to change to another podcast, pull over and do that. They're putting a special focus on men in their mid-20s and encouraging their parents and grandparents to motivate them not to text and drive. We have, we've done some research and young males ages 22 to 27 make up 50 percent of our fatal crashes. So that's really who we're focusing on. And troopers say if you see someone who appears to be distracted while driving, dial star 347 to report them. In Seminole County, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6. Distracted driving is a big issue we care about here at News 6. In 2016, anchor Matt Austin was seriously hurt in a crash by a texting driver. News 6 launched a multi-year campaign to strengthen Florida's texting and driving law. After three years of work, those efforts resulted in a new law in 2019, making texting and driving a primary offense. You can see more of our reporting on the topic on clickorlando.com slash driving change.